Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be telling you what is the general requirement for SAP BW4 HANA conversion. Suppose you are trying to convert one of the SAP BW system like uh, SAP 7.3 or 7.4 or 7.5 and not yet converted into SAP BW HANA. Now, during the conversion, you need to have the set of things in place so that the conversion can have be had can be done so i will be telling you those conversions and what are the general requirement that you need to have in place so that the conversion can be done you know let me tell you that regarding the bex first in the reporting part like this bex reporting or maybe the bex uh, you know bex analyzer or bex uh, Bex query so this thing will be converted into the bio based the business objects you know reporting whether it's on premise or you know it can be uh, cloud and uh, this uh, bw query will be that bw query will be exist in the before hana but that has to be that that will be managed in BWMT like the BEX. This BEX query will be present in BW HANA, but that has to be converted into uh, BW managed. This SAP HANA managed BWMT query designer. Just write to that BWMT query designer means you can still do the changes and all but that will not be in uh, BEX analyzer that will be in the SAP HANA developed BWMT query analyzer and the the basic and very important things that are going to be changed in the BW HANA modeling like if you had uh, earlier we should do the HANA modeling in SAP GUI like a transaction in RSA1 but now we will not be able to access that option. Now we have to do uh, this uh, this modeling in HANA Studio. In SAP HANA Studio, we have to do all kinds of modeling. So all the modeling, what we should do in RSA1, so will be converted into SAP HANA modeling. And, and also, the all the classic objects like, you know, uh, creation of uh, info object or info cube, DOSO, multi provider. So everything will be converted into it has to be done uh, in HANA modeling and has to be converted into new types like the DSO will be converted into ADSO and DSO or info cube will be converted into ADSO and similar to that the multi provider or info set right or info set will be converted into cp composite provider so those are the basic change has to be done first then you can do the conversion into bpw4 hana and uh, suppose there are some uh, source system types like uh, odbc connector or you know there's some api connector so that has to be changed into odp kind of connection like like db connect earlier we had about db connect right this db connect or any skpi you know those are mainly uh, involved in data source uh, ret uh, retraction but now it is uh, changed into you know odp odp connection odp or in a, this is or any kind of hana source system and uh, also there are more changes like in the you know data services uh, like you know the ud connect or data services a partner etl so those has to be converted into first you know in consolidation to new sap hana source system and uh, and suppose your BW BI content 
BWBI content and that has to be uh, converted into a BW on HANA starter add-on BW on HANA starter add-on and uh, if we come to APD in BW we have heard about the APD analysis process designer which we used to do which we used to do uh, to directly write in the ADSO or DSO now we have to use the HANA based analysis process and uh, more changes in the NLS suppose if you have NLS uh, like for archiving and that has to be changed into you know, any uh, better solution with HANA based IQ solution or Hadoop so these are the basic changes you have to do before migrating into BW for HANA so that uh, covers a small update or overview about the uh, conversion requirement uh, thank you for watching if you have any comment or question you can write in the comment box and please subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching and please look into my other tutorial I have given the links in the below description thank you